Shalom and welcome to the Parak of the Week. We are continuing our study of Pirkei Avot chapter 3 with chapter 3, the fourth teaching, in which Rabbi Shimon said, Three who ate at one table and did not speak words of Torah, it is as if they ate dead offerings. As it is said, all of the tables are full of vomit without God's presence. However, three who ate at one table and spoke words of Torah, it is as if they ate at the table of God's holy presence, as it is said, and they said to me, this is the table of God's holy presence. Once again, let's not let the proof texts distract from the sense of the teaching. The word vomit definitely commands our attention as does the notion of dead offerings. But try not to let it get us away from focusing on the essence of what Rabbi Shimon is saying. He reminds us that the goal of Jewish life is not to remove ourselves from everyday life in order to achieve a sense of holiness. Rather, our challenge is to bring deep meaning to every moment of our lives. And what could be more basic than sitting down to a meal? Rabbi Shimon challenges us to elevate our table talk from the mundane to the divine. Commentators call our attention to the number three. One or two people who sit together are still considered individuals. Where three or more gather, a communal blessing of the Birkat Hamazon is in order. Our homes should be a Mikdash Ma'at, a miniature sanctuary. This week, let's think about what we can do to enhance the holiness of our homes. Shabbat Shalom.